guys, it's me and today I'm going to be doing the biggest hamster mistakes I made while being a hamster owner. I've seen this video done many times, in fact Erin's Animals actually did this video a really long time ago and I commented on her video and I said, this is a great idea, I'll definitely do this video. I said that three years ago, so you can see how much of a procrastinator I am, but I'm finally getting to it um, and I decided I wanted to finally make this video and get it out to you guys. Mistakes are okay to make, everybody makes them, and they're okay as long as you fix them or plan to fix them and solve the problem. So I started owning hamsters very young. I started maybe about eight or nine years old owning hamsters. Um, I didn't know anything about their care really. I just knew like the general things that weren't really correct. So like you need a cage obviously and bedding. Like I didn't know what types of cages or what types of bedding. I just thought the stuff in the pet store was fine honestly. And it wasn't until I got my third hamster and I don't know how I came across it, but I was on Google, I think, um, and I found the hamster hideout form. And that is when I found out all of the information and everything that I was doing was wrong and I was, it kind of freaked me out and scared me. So the first hamster mistake I ever made was of course keeping my hamsters in small cages. My first hamster buddy I ever had, he lived in a critter trail cage um, and then eventually I attached a hep trail suite cage to it, but of course that still is way too small. And then I think eventually after that cage he did go into a tank, but the only reason he went into a tank was because um, he kept escaping out of the critter trail and habit trail, which another mistake I did make was once I accidentally left the lid open on the habit trail and he did escape into uh, my mom's office, which was very, very messy at the time. So getting him back was so hard because we had to like, there was lots of things he could get under and things like that. It was really bad. My second hamster, Freddy, also had a very small cage. I actually still have this cage to this day and I use it for traveling because it's just so small. I've also used it in the past for really tiny baby hamsters just to, um, so that they can't like, lose them in a giant cage. But that's all I use it for. I never would ever house a full grown hamster in this cage ever. It's so tiny. The next mistake that I made with my hamsters is that in the beginning I did use that cotton fluff nesting material. I hate this stuff so much but I did use this at, in the beginning until I did do my research and then I realized it's not safe and I immediately removed it and got it out of there. Um, I think there are pictures where you can see the cotton fluff in, in the picture but I just hate that stuff so much. The next mistake I made was my hamsters had the wire, they weren't wire wheels, but they were the barred ones that were made out of plastic and they were so tiny. Um, Freddy had a very small one. He had the one that came with the cage, which was much too small for him. Um, Buddy had one that was a little bit bigger and more for his size, but it still was a barred wheel, which definitely is not good for them. It actually took me quite a while to actually finally upgrade my hamsters to proper size wheels. Um, after the barred wheels, I did have silent spinners, the six inch. Um, those were obviously a little bit better because they weren't barred, but they are way too small for Syrians. And it took me a fairly long time to finally be able to find a eight inch wheel for my Syrians. Now for my least favorite mistake. I hate this so much and I let my Syrians play together. Oh my gosh, I hate saying that so much. I hate it because now whenever I see Syrians together, it literally makes me so mad. Um, it's just, it, ugh. Fortunately, my Syrians never fought or anything when I did let them play, um, or not really play, but I let them sniff each other. I would have Buddy in one hand and Freddy in the other, and I would like hold them together, and they would like kind of sniff each other, and I would put them down. They didn't do anything, of course, um, thankfully. Thankfully they didn't. Actually a story about that. So since I used to like let my Syrians kind of play with each other or I would let them meet and things like that. Um, when I was going on vacation I brought one of my hamsters to my friend's house so she could look after him and I remember um, she telling me about how she went to put like let our hamsters because she had a hamster too so she went to let our hamsters play with each other and they actually started fighting and she went to put her hand in between them and one actually bit her hand and 
it was just awful. So obviously that's another situation. One of my, one of those hamsters could have ended up dead, which is awful. So that is probably the biggest mistake that I ever made with hamsters and I regret it totally. I wish I would have never ever done that. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. Those are all of my hamster mistakes. Thankfully, I am not that person anymore and I have corrected all of my mistakes. And don't forget, if you made mistakes, don't feel bad as long as you've corrected them. It's okay to make mistakes. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Bye!